Hi guys, welcome to our first podcast. Today we'll be interviewing Mark Hutchinson. He will be telling us about the digital mural and feature wall course he attended recently at the Dulux Academy. Let's get to know him better. Hi Mark, how are you? Do you? Yes, not bad, thank you. So tell us a bit about yourself and your business, including how long you've been a Dulux Select Decorator member. I've been a Select Decorator for about eight months. Yeah. And um, I've got to be really honest, I've been really lucky because I was sort of classically trained by this amazing sort of one-man band. And he had a background in um, incorporating high finishes with traditional standards. And I've just brought that into what I do with like the modern blend of 2018, try and mix the two together. And then I have a real sense of fortune that my work tends to fall on the higher end of the market. So I get to sort of work in sort of breathtaking homes that you normally see on television, you know, huge, huge houses and sort of stately homes and colleges and universities, huge barns. And um, I guess that's the angle I wanted my business to take when I went on my own. I wanted to work in these uh, these top-end properties. And, yeah, a little bit of luck and a little bit of hard work, and I'm sort of slowly going that way. So, yeah, yeah, thank you. No problem. So what have you learned on the course? Um, <clears throat> if I'm to be honest, I'm a sort of fairly experienced paper hanger. I've done a lot of it over the years. And the chap at Dulux Academy, um, Mr. Tony Pearson, he spotted that straight away. The, the fact that I even asked to get my own tools out of the van um, apparently was a sign. So he said, and uh, rather than play devil's advocate and sort of try and catch me out, he was just proper relaxed, really, really good. He offered me little tips and advice regarding my techniques and equipment I was using. And I took some of it on board. One of the knives he suggested that I use, I bought myself. And it is brilliant. Uh, and I also learned that wallpaper can be subjective and when you balance wallpapers and you have flow of wallpaper and balance, I mean uh, the, the measuring of the pattern from one side to another and if it's in the middle of the wall, um, it, how it can be subjective is that I, I think that might be right, but if someone else was hanging the paper who um, hanging the same paper would do it in a different way, I would always believe that was wrong because it wasn't my opinion. But on the course, we, we worked in bays with the same paper, and we were hanging them differently, but they both they, they both look really good, but just hung in different ways. And I guess I learned that as well, that it can be subjective, and as long as it looks good, that's the main thing. So. Oh, brilliant. So why did you attend the course? Um, honestly, this is like the easiest answer ever. It was purely and simply um, I wanted to achieve accreditation to hang the one-piece murals and just be given a chance to work with them guys. I, I came across them at the P&D show in Coventry and got introduced to them by another select decorator. And I think the product's amazing. And uh, yeah, it was through there that I learned I had to get my accreditation, which is why I did the course. So yeah, it was all good. Fantastic. So would you re recommend the course and the academy? 100% yes. Yeah. During the course, honestly, there was decorators of all sorts of levels and experience and the skill spectrum. Um, but uh, no one was sort of made to feel superior or inferior. We mainly worked in pairs, little tiny bits of working on your own. The, the lads with more experience would offer sort of help with the lads with less experience, and it felt very much like a standard sort of day at work, minus the lunch and coffee that they put on, which is seriously so good. And uh, I believe this was sort of a technique that uh, the, the tutor academy, Mr. Pearson, I, I think he did it on purpose and he actively encouraged this, which I felt was really clever, to be honest, as it brought out sort of like a natural instinct and behaviour when it comes to decorating, when you work with a team and you just trust each other's judgment and, and people just listen to each other and be offering stuff and handing tools to each other and standing back and offering advice. So it was it was really, really good. So as a sort of closing thought regarding the course, I would say the course allows you to work in a natural way, sort of creating a bond with everyone else there and all the other decorators, while allowing people to feel sort of confident in their own ability. And when they needed to sort of help, ask for help or ask the tutor or ask yourself, that they could feel they could do that. Um, so I think, you know, in my sort of humble opinion, is really, really good that everyone just felt comfortable in the environment that they were in. So yeah, it was really good. Tony's lovely and it helps because he's been a, a member previously so he knows the members, he knows the decorating industry and now he's at the academy so he's helping everybody with 
Yeah, he, he would say he was ace, and I've gone on other courses um, with other tutors, and like the first thing I said to him, we, we did a little sit down, and then I, I just lent into him. I said, "Do you mind if I go to the van and get my gear?" He was like, "Absolutely, no problems at all." So, um, I, as I explained to him, I was doing like a wallpapering job for him, if that makes sense, and so I wanted to use my own tools, and he spotted straight away, and then rather than say play devil's advocate or just see how good I was or make things more difficult for me and just be you know in that way he was proper relaxed and he allowed me then to help other people and then and he sort of went through my toolbox and was asking what my different tools did and and exactly like you'd get on sort of like a site environment really to be honest it was he was spot on he was really really good so perfect so what other courses would you follow at the academy um, personally, <clears throat> my next course, 100%, will be the Advanced Brain course. I've even looked into it, and it's been fully booked, so the next available one to come up, I'll do it, because I own a little handheld Greco, and I've done Spain in the past, and, and it's a fantastic little machine, um, but I'm not too sure. I do nice stuff, and I do hand paint kitchens with it, and they look really, really nice, but sometimes... I don't know, it's like baking a cake and it tastes really nice, but you think, oh, if I could just add a little something in it and uh, it would taste a lot better. And I sometimes think my technique is a bit flawed and I think by going there and an advanced course and just sort of brushing up on my, my own skill level, I'm certain that I'll learn something. There must be a technique that I could learn that then just make me better at what I do. So, um, yeah, that, that definitely be my next course, no doubt about it. And then after that, I've also, there's only online, I was looking the other night, and there's like an advanced course, I believe, with um, where, where they sort of do special effects or they make things look like metal and stuff like that. I can't think the actual name of the course is, but that course, um, yeah, I like the thought of that as well. Uh, in the past, I've done stuff at college and then I worked for a company called APW that did like London Dungeons and stuff like that. So they do like these polystyrenes and make them look like blocks of like rock and all that sort of stuff. And so I, I'm okay at that, but... Um, I'm about to do an old hall um, starting later on in the year and I think they're going to be wanting some sort of marbling and bits and bobs and just mm -hmm. general sort of ageing and crazing done on a few bits. So again, it's just a matter of just brushing up and also trying to remember from stuff I learned sort of all those years ago. So um, I think sometimes the minute you're there and you see the, the stuff come out, you think, oh, yeah, of course I remember it now. But it's just, uh, yeah, just, just to keep you on my toes really. And uh, I, 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 I like to do. It. I'm a, I'm a pretty good decorator, and you know, I like to do a nice job. But I, there's always, I just want to get better at certain elements, and, and just keep improving and keep sort of stretching myself. And it, it keeps you really honest and keeps you on your toes. So, yeah, that's the, that's the plan. Just keep improving. So. Perfect. Well, cool. thank you very much for your time today, Mark. You're all right. Thank you. That was Mark Hutchinson, our Dulux Select Decorator. Thank you for listening. If you fancy being on our next podcast, please get in touch on 0333 or email us duluxselectdecorators at diversity.agency. Thank you.